Welcome to my news house where I keep weird news for you to peruse. Hi there, I'm Mark. The story today, NASA just spent $80,000 to send herpes into space. So take solace in the fact that even if you never make it into space, your cold sores probably will. Yay, progress! Yes indeed, NASA is spending 80 large to study the effects of space flight on about four different strains of the herps. Why? Because we all have herpes. Seriously though, some estimates place 80 to 95% of the general population as infected. BT dubs, if you've had chickenpox, you've had the herps. Chickenpox is a form of herpes, and it's not because preschoolers are promiscuous. What? I said they aren't promiscuous. But astronauts are a little more at risk than others because low gravity and radiation cause significant mutations and reactivations of the herpes virus. What was that? Space herpes. Mutations and reactivations in the context of STIs sounds super fun. But that's in fact the very reason so many astronauts come back from space with things like shingles. Because astronauts are in fact super easy. No, that's not true. But one astronaut was. One of our insiders confirmed that the herpes research project began years ago in the 60s when Ace Bedbugs Jackson was sent into space. Yeah, he was something of a star fucker, and I don't mean he liked famous people. He got around with some celestial objects. No, but seriously, it's a, it's a petri dish up there. Bring a condom. I was shooting on location in space once, actually, and I came back with a scathing case of wormholes. They are not easy to treat or get rid of. My producer still calls me Scuzz Aldrin. <laughs> I don't appreciate it. No, but the creams don't help. They, they don't help. So wrap it up, guys, if you can. Okay, that's it for the news house. Thanks for watching. I wish you a good news day.